Hi everyone, I'm Thelma of Seasonals Crafts and Creations. Welcome back to my channel and for those of you that's new, welcome. Today I will be doing a spring wreath on a 14 inch frame from the Dollar Tree and I'll, I will be using all the stuff that I have on hand and previously used or bought before all this stuff that's been going on started. Okay, so let's get started. Let me adjust my camera so you can see my work. Okay, you will need a 14 inch frame from the Dollar Tree for a dollar, or you can get it anywhere you want. Um, you will need Chanel stems. I'm using green because um, it blends in with the spring, and you will need to put them on every divider, and I'll show you how. The first one I'm not putting it on, but you put it on, you go under and up the other side and make sure it's even and then you twist it twice. Now I'll do it again and then I'll show you how to do the one that's in the, the inner one. You bring it down one side, up, up the other end, make sure it's even, twist it one and then two times. And then for the center, you go in and out, just like that, but bring it over onto the other side. Make it even. Now go down through the center of the Chanel stem and the L shape of the divider. And then bring it back up on the other side. And what you do, you're tying it in. Make sure it doesn't get, it might get stuck. But what you're doing, you're tying it in so it won't move. And this is okay. On, on these, they're not even. I'll show you how to do that one on the inside right here. I left another spot for you. You bring it down, up down on the other side and you make it even if you can and you twist it twice. Now, let's get started with the mesh. I've previously used this, as you can tell, it's all rolled up. You start by making sure this end on both sides is down. You go, you crinkle it, you bring this end up, hold it. Now I'm going to start on the outer. Turn them two down. I'm going to start on this one right here, the first one that that we have a Chanel stem on. You take it and you twist it twice, and then you make a small loop. And notice if there's any loose ends coming. 
loose ends coming up. Um, just cut them off. Excuse me just a minute ago, I got the hiccups it seems. <clears throat> okay, make sure this goes like that. And then again, one and two. And you do it all the way around. harder to handle the mesh since it's already been used because it's under your arm it's not in that little row but we'll get the hang of it once you get the hang of it it'll be okay it'll go by faster but if you're using new that's that's quite all right i'm just Sticking with what I have, because yeah, I only go to the store when I have to get cleaning supplies or uh, food. And I might pick up some stuff while I'm out, but this is from Easter, and, East, and I started decorating Easter a month and a half before Easter, so I've had these for a while. Just make sure that the ends are facing down. And I'll show you how I loop it over instead of cutting the end of it when I get to the end here. Now I take it and I bring it over to the next one right there. That's instead of cutting it, that way you can reuse it again. Or I don't know, you might not be able to on this one because you will be needing a glue gun and glue sticks later as we um, glue on if unless they're they have wires in the back if they have wires in the back we won't need no glue let me look now we'll use these wires in the back on the decorations just keep Make sure you keep a, a good little loop here. That way it helps cover up the, the wires the more times you go around. So this isn't going to be a short video, y'all. It's going to be um, about an hour. Because I don't stop mine and start it over later after I've got almost of it finished so that's cheating you all showing you in case you run into something and you might see a way to fix it if I run into a problem and I have to fix something it's cheating you all it 
if I were to do it the other way. And you can use any spring colors that you want. Um, any that you have on hand or there's no reason to go out and buy not what's going on. And make sure you pay attention to the Chanel stems that you pick up because you might pick up on the other one. I've done that before and then I've had to go back and rewire them. Okay, it looks like I'm already um, mute my glasses on. Okay, it looks like I'm already at the end of the second one. So now on this one, you go from the second one here to the third one there. So move that aside and I think it's better than cutting because you might be unable to use the rest of the mesh and then if you do it this way you're filling up your wreath more. Kind of keep this over here where you can see. And you will sometimes get it caught up in, in the Chanel stands because it likes to catch. It's annoying, if you ask me. <laughs> This stuff's got to fall off, I'm sorry. In a minute I'll show you how I tie off this end. It's basically the same as when I start at the beginning. You just, because it's I've got room here. Hang on one second. Let me fix this. Yeah, that's enough of a loop. You just take this and bend it under. and tie it right in to this one. Okay, now that's what it looks like. So far, next I have some purple you twist the bottom well first you you do that and you twist that under 
Now you pretty much can start it on any one. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Now this one you just do the same. I'm just going in the opposite direction. Let me move this stuff out of the way so before it falls in the floor. And that gives us a little more room. Now I'm going on the outer one, so make sure you don't grab the, the Chanel stems of the second one because I've done that before. They like to tangle themselves up sometimes. Now I'm going to loop over to the second row because I, I don't have, let me look, yeah, I don't have much purple, but I'm just wanting to add some. Let me show you what I did. Started here on the first one, you go one, two, that's on the the first row and then this one drape it over to the middle one and then keep it there on the medium one for two And that's all I have enough for, for the purple. So I will pull this, let me see. Okay, I'll, I've got enough to go all the way around. But we won't go, you can if you want, if you have a whole row, go all the way around, just the way you did here and then you just keep jumping back and forth on the colors it makes for a beautiful rainbow um wreath that's what i'm going for but we'll see how it works out like i said just work with what you have and it'll be fun I have dropped a mesh. Let me grab it real fast. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I have a very small area to work with. So I tend to drop things a lot. So I, I like working at my kitchen table, but it's been being used for something else right now. These row ones I'm not going to use. All I'm using are the ones that I've um, previously used on something else. So. Um, I have some blue and I have some pink and two more things of the purple, blue, pink, and yellow. 
So next I'm starting with the blue. Do the same thing. Crunch it up. Let's see. Now on this one you start in the third. Well on the inner one right here. Start right there. We'll do it two loops and then I'll show you which direction to go with it. Just watch your Chanel stems because um, this is when they start getting tricky when you start moving them all around. And make sure to cut any strays. Okay, there's two. Let me cut this again. You can tell I've used it before. Oh, that's not it. That's the purple. I thought it was the blue. Now on this one, you're down here on the inner one. The next come up to the middle one. There's, there's two there. There's two there, and then once you get up to the middle one here, we'll do two there, and then we'll jump to the first um, one. And watch your Chanel stems. I do it this way because it helps cover up the wires. And it makes a different type of wreath. And, and you can arrange them as you go if it helps you with um, decorating your wreath. And remember to always do it twice. So there's two here, there's two there, there's two here. Now on the next one, go from here up to the first one. Watch them Chanel stems, like I said, because they like to get tangled sometimes and make you think you're grabbing the right one when you're grabbing the wrong one. And it can make a difference in a wreath. One two on the center, one two on the one two on the outside. Okay, yeah, this will be the second one on the outside. Let me find my Chanel stand. It's hiding on me. Okay, now you 
go back. To the center and do it twice and if you have more mesh you can continue on just crisscrossing as you go and go around go all the way around until you um, run out of mesh and then and then you do your next color if I can find my Chanel stand found it Okay, now the next I'm doing is pink. I, I already did these, so I'm not using them. I'm on the last one. So, right here where I ended, I'm going to cut. See how this is all fringed up? I'm cutting this straight. Now, go... Go up again, like you've been doing. Spin that over. Where you ran out, where you ended on, um, put this one. Try to hide this here under or in between, like I'm doing there. Right there it is. Okay, now with the pink or whatever color you have, you continue by going from this one over to the next one because that's too pink. Now, you go from here to the inner one. And then you go one more and you find it. Okay, here it is. Sorry, that took a second. I kept losing the grip on the... Okay, now you come up, because there's that's two on the bottom. You come up to the one in the center. It's one and two. And oh, you don't have to use green Chanel if you've got like pink from Valentine's Day or yellow or the um, those cloth ones they have. You can use any spring or summer looking color. You don't have to use the green. Now go back down. Go 
because these don't have any paint. This one doesn't. And I'm almost out. And then we'll start on the decorating, which I love. These are some things I got back um, about two months ago um, in the floral section back there where they have the, the wreaths and all that. I'll show you. I'm excited. Okay. Now, how you do the end again, I'll show you. You start by gathering it. See how much room, and then go up a little, bring us down. You go up a little to where you don't want to make it too tight. Okay. And then bring us down. Cut off any little pieces. And that's the end. Make sure you do this tight on the ends. Okay. Now, these, I've never seen them there before. These are uh, ornaments. These are pink. These are small. Now, they also have a pack of two. They're larger little flowers with little stones and um, little stones right here, too. You take them out of the bag and show you one up close. But they are flowers. And there's three in a pack of the small ones. Then there's blue flowers. Yellow. Let's see if you can see. The yellow is not. There you go. Can you see that better? I hope. Those are, that's the yellow. Well, I'll show you the blue too because i got to take it out of the pack. And you don't have to glue it because they all have these wires. That way you can use flowers around over again too, like to straighten the wire out and, and put them down in a pot. And then there's butterflies. I love flowers and butterflies and dragonflies and fairies. There's the butterflies. I got the bigger, I got bigger butterflies than the flowers, so they show up better. And I got, those were the yellow ones on the butterflies. These are the red ones. Let's see, I got red instead of blue butterflies. There's the red. And then here's the pink. And um, the last time I was up at the Dollar Tree getting cleaning supplies, I had to get um, some ribbon in the, in the floral aisle. And they still had some of these, so they in your store they might have some of these butterflies and flowers. Okay, let's get started. I'm having trouble. There's just tape on the back of it, and of course there's another piece. Let me see if I can get it with my scissors without. Okay, I'm going to take one of the pink ones out. I'm just going to 
lay it. Start facing you, so this is the top of your wreath. And start, I always start over here on the, I say, one o'clock. So you want to put that one right there with a, and play around before you um, put your, before you wire them in with the colors. That way you can um, decide which ones you want where. You know, just to see if the yellow and pink goes good together or if the blue and pink goes good together. And be careful cutting these. Make sure your scissors don't go through the paper and cut your butterfly or flower. I think the lighter is better. Okay, and then we got. got the blue flower and red butterfly. I'm not sure if that's how it's going to go. And you might have to use some of the flowers and some of the butterflies colors over again because there's more of them than there are colors. I think there's, I've seen, unless other people bought them, I've seen one more color, different color, I can't remember what they were, each of the butterflies and the flowers. So there's A blue, let's see, blue, pink, and yellow. Let me see if I have any more colors. Blue, pink, and yellow, and then yellow, red, and pink of them. So I'm going to have to figure out how to probably put a yellow butterfly up here. And these uh, Chanel stems will be uh, cut down, cut off, I meant. Put a red um, butterfly. Up here. And try to put them going in different directions, arrange them in different directions, a C, and then pink is the last butterfly. Yeah, I think that I think that looks good with yellow on top, yellow on bottom, pink at one o'clock over there, pink at five o'clock here, 
11 o'clock, the red one over here, and, um, let me cut this, oh, I think, yeah, I gotta leave that there, because it came loose, but I'm not gonna take it back to the store, not what's going on, I ain't going to the store just for this, I'll glue it on. I do a lot of fixing myself instead of taking back sometimes. There, all you had to do, because that was just a string of glue, if that happens, just wad it up, put it under the little jewel stone, and push it down, and it sticks it right back on it. Okay, now, let me see the paint. Flower goes with the yellow butterfly. And you have one one flower left. And the blue goes with the red. But you can do yours any way you want. And um, any color arrangement, any way you want. I'm just doing mine this way. It seems seems to work out pretty well. I just have to get the last one out. I found pulling the wires out from underneath the. Tape is easier than cutting it. Because then you ain't taking the chance of cutting the paper and then cutting the butterfly. Or the only thing you gotta watch is it ripped your nail. <laughs> okay, um, let me show you how, how to put these on here. First, you put the, the flower on because it's going to be under the butterfly. So you, you take these and you run it through the mesh. And make sure it's in between that. Okay, make sure in between each one of these wires that there's a wire of the um, wreath in between them like like that in between and um, then you just twist it might be tricky now this is my first time too so we're figuring this out together I hope I can that you can see this see how there's the wire and then there's the um, the wire for the butter I mean the flower then you just twist it now on this let's go ahead and cut these let's make sure we get one, two, three, four, five, six. There's going to be six of them on every one of them. And you just, they're already twisted. You just cut them. And you can still use these for other things, so don't throw them away. Get a baggie, a sandwich baggie, and start putting your things in. Because you can always use them. I have a baggie full of the sticks that went on those eggs at, for Easter to use for other things. Okay, now just twist these so they don't come loose. Or bend them down. Okay, 
Now, do the butterfly. And that's it for the wreath. I'm, I'm not going to do all of them, but I will make my thumbnail um, a picture of the wreath so you see what how it looks. Um, well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go ahead and continue filming if you want to watch the whole going around all of it. Um, you're more than willing. If not, you can stop here because you get what it's going to look like. Um, but I will, I'm just going to go ahead and work. I'm not going to be talking. Well, I will be talking for a minute. If, um, if you run into the problem I am now, it's where it's running into, run, these are running into all this, a knot of it, and it's bending it, so you have to work around it and feel, and you might get poked like I did. And it makes it hard to find them. So, didn't mean to flip there and say I wasn't going to be talking. But I needed to tell you all what to do if you ran into a problem like that. Okay.
and sometimes these here wires may keep bending on you so you have to finger them through the back to try to get them and the last one is the red and blue red butterfly blue flower No, get down. Go on, baby. I'll be with you in a minute, baby. That was my baby kitty. He ain't a kitty, but... Well, he's a kitty, but he ain't no baby, but he thinks he is. And again, the butterfly might keep getting nicked in the mesh. All you have to do is just cut it. The mesh, not the... The, the mesh strings. these in and then I'll raise the camera up so you can see the spring wreath. And I want to thank you all for watching and if you liked it please like and um, share with your uh, friends and family members and please subscribe that way you get a notification when I download a new video okay let me raise this up <laughs> and show you the work that we just did together that's what it looks like finished and my top and bottom is really could be either one the, the yellow on top or, or you could put it any color the way we the way we did the colors all right thanks again for watching and um please subscribe to get future video notifications and um share and like and leave a comment let me know if you enjoyed the video or if you didn't and um, I'm going to be opening up a uh, Instagram so you can start sh sending pictures of your items that you of your items I meant projects that you do <laughs> um, okay until next time stay safe and happy bye